I swear, some days you don't want to get out of bed. And today is one of those days. But you have to get up and you gotta get moving and get out of bed, regardless of how you're feeling. But you have to get out of bed and get moving. I don't want to miss a single moment. But unfortunately, that's been happening a lot lately. Way more than I would like. And it's all because of my back. And even now, as I shoot this, I'm in a ton of pain. It's ridiculous. I can barely stand up. And unfortunately, it's gotten a lot worse. I mean, I've been dealing with it for over eight years. There's really only so much more I can take of it. And honestly, I've tried every conservative method I can. You know, chiropractic, therapy, acupuncture, all this different stuff. Things have helped. Things have helped me maintain a certain level of pain, but nothing has fixed it. And unfortunately, in the past year, it's gotten a lot worse. It's a little hard to tell, but right here I have a loss of muscle mass. Over here I have loss of muscle mass. And in all honesty, that's as much as I can move my foot. And I'm supposed to be able to move it this much. So when I walk, I gotta lift my leg up super high, otherwise my foot's dragging, I'm tripping and falling like crazy. This is getting ridiculous, aside from all the pain that I'm in. I mean, I'm absolutely tired of literally living on the floor. Crawling around on the floor because it's too difficult to walk, it hurts too much to walk. Sleeping on the floor on a mattress topper or something because I'm up all night tossing and turning. I can't sleep. I'm sleeping like maybe two to three hours a night in constant pain. I'm tired of it. I can't deal with it anymore. I don't know what my options are. The only thing I could do is talk to a surgeon again and see what they say, especially with this drop foot going on. And really, what is the outcome of that? Is it permanent? I don't know. I hope it's not. So the pain generally starts in my low back. It intensifies. It radiates down both legs. The pain gets so bad that I cannot move. I mean, literally cannot move. I'm on the floor crying. Can't get into a good position to sleep or anything like that. And that's when it's at its worst. It eventually, months later, gets down to a point where I can tolerate it to a point, but I can't walk to get to my mailbox. I can't stand or sit for more than 10 minutes, if that. I can't take my kids outside and stand out there and watch them play because I'm dying. I just want to get my life back. I want to be able to do the things I used to be able to do. I don't want to be held back. I don't want to be limited. I don't want to have an excuse. I just want to do it. It's been emotionally draining. It's been physically draining. I'm at the end. I really am. There's not much more I can take. Not much more I can do. And thinking about it and dealing with it 24 seven, dealing with the pain for so long, this has affected so much my life. It's, I never would have thought. It's, it's completely insane. Never would have thought. You know, it, it's much more than, oh, I worked out today and I have a sore back or something like that. It's, it's debilitating. Absolutely is. It, it's relentless. It won't stop. And even if I have surgery, there's no guarantee that the disc won't re-herniate again. And with my luck, that's probably what's going to happen. And yeah, whatever, positive thinking and all that aside, I got to be realistic and realize that I have how many years left in my life that, you know, hopefully I have left. Something's going to happen in that amount of time. It could be anything. I mean, I've sneezed before and I've been out of commission for months. I've coughed and been out of commission for months. Something as stupid as that can cause so much pain. It's, I don't know, it's unbelievable. It's life-changing, to say the least. I just want to be able to be there for my kids. You know, I don't, I don't want to give my son an excuse anymore. Like, no, I can't go play catch with you because I can't stand up. Or if I don't catch it, I can't pick the ball up. I, I don't want to tell my daughter I can't pick you up, I can't give you a, a horsey ride or whatever. Or we can't go for a walk in the park or the woods because I can't do more than 20 feet. You know, I mean, I can't live like this anymore. Something has to change. All I can say is take this video or this vlog, whatever you want to call it, take it for what it is. 
And if you're suffering with pain like this, if you're suffering with any kind of pain, whether it's worse, whether it's better, whether it's back pain, leg pain, neck pain, whatever it is, just realize you are the one that is suffering. You're the one that has to go through this. You're the one that has to live with this. You're the only one that can make the decision to make some sort of change, whatever that is. And also realize everyone around you, those closest to you, are suffering too. Think about it from their perspective. How hard it must be to watch you go through this. To not be able to do anything for you. To not be able to help you in any way. Think about what they're going through. How helpless they feel. I'm sorry for putting everyone through that. I'm sorry for putting my family through that. I don't know what the next step is. I don't know what the solution is. I'm just trying to deal with it day to day, minute by minute. And if you're not suffering in any way, but you know someone that is, share this video with them. Talk to them. I don't like to talk. <laughs> I'm very quiet. I'm very private. Maybe you can make their day just a little bit better. Maybe you can make them smile and maybe that will help them. And maybe just talking with them will just help them make the decisions they need to make, make these tough decisions. I don't know what the answer is. Hopefully we can find them together.